हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर मीर शाह वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो दिस इज अ सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ अ वीडियो सीरीज बेस्ड ऑन कॉल ऑप्शन पे ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सम्स एंड अंडर दिस वी टू लर्न टूडे सम्स हाउ टू सॉल्व सम बेस्ड ऑन सेलर्स पे ऑफ अंडर कॉल ऑप्शन नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द सम बेस्ड ऑन कॉल ऑप्शन सेलर्स पे ऑफ वी फर्स्ट हैव टू गो थ्रू सम रूल्स सो लेट अस सी द बेसिक रूल्स इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व the sum based on sellers pay off okay so the sum that we are going to start will be based on call option and under call option we are going to solve sum which is based on sellers profit or writers pay off now the format and important points to be noted number 1 first the format okay there will be five columns we have the exercise price spot price intrinsic value call premium received and profit and loss now since it is a short position or a short call so it is a sum which is based on selling the intrinsic value now how to find the intrinsic value is given here that the intrinsic value up to the point where the strike and the exercise price are equal it will be zero thereafter the intrinsic value will be negative difference between the exercise price and the spot price second premium since we are selling a call option the premium will always be positive and lastly the profit and loss it will be nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the premium so these are the three simple rules that need to be kept in mind while solving the sum now let us start we'll take up two examples in order to understand how to solve sum based on call option sellers pay off So let us start with the very first example. Okay, now let us take up the first example to understand call option when we have a seller's payoff. So we'll read the question once. Uh, Mr. Raj takes a short position on a call option of ABC Limited at an exercise price of rupees hundred with a premium of rupees three. Calculate the profit or loss on the option position of Mr. Raj if the spot expiry is as follows. They are given us various spot prices. Sixty. Uh, it starts from ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, hundred, one, two, three, four, and hundred and five. Also, draw the payoff diagram for the same. So now, in order to solve such sum, tabular as well as graphically, okay, here is the steps that we'll be following. First, we'll note on the heading. It is based on call option. sellers pay off okay now the table will again consist of five columns uh, having the headings as exercise price we'll call it as x spot price we'll name it as s intrinsic value we we'll call it as iv then we'll have call premium received we'll call it as c and lastly a profit and loss okay now as per the question okay they have already given us that the exercise price is going to be at 100 Okay, so for all the options of spot price, the exercise price is hundred. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are given us ten options, so I'll you know we'll post the exercise price for ten options as hundred. So that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Now the spot price given are ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, hundred, one zero one, one zero two, one zero three, one zero four, and one zero five. Okay. Now under call option, the intrinsic value up to the point where your exercise price and your spot price is same, the intrinsic value will remain zero. so up to the point when exercise and spot are equal the intrinsic value for all will remain zero thereafter 
whenever there is a seller's payoff thereafter okay there will be the negative difference between exercise and spot price so there is a difference of 1 so we'll note it as negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 and negative 5 okay that's the difference between buyer's payoff and seller in under buyer's payoff it was positive difference however in seller's payoff it will be negative difference now call premium the in the question it is given that it is exercise price is 100 with a premium of rupees 3 the moment we take a short position we are selling the moment we sell we will receive the premium so it will be positively written as positive 3 under each and every case so we have 10 options so under every option we'll write the premium received will be 3 that also positive 3 under call option where we have buyers payoff it becomes negative since we are buying so we'll have to pay the premium but under sellers payoff we are receiving so these are the amount that we will be receiving so it will remain as positive so now the last to find profit and loss it is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and premium received intrinsic was 0 you are receiving 3 so we have a profit of rupees 3 again we'll have a profit of rupees 3 intrinsic is 0 Premium is 3, we are receiving 3, that's a profit. Again profit, again profit. Okay, now from the point where your exercise and spot is not equal. Okay, now we'll have a little difference. Negative 1 is the intrinsic value. Call premium received is rupees 3. So the difference is 2. So our profit is only 2 now. Negative 2 and 3, the difference will be positive 1. So we have a profit of 1. Negative 3 and 0, the difference is 0. Negative 4 is the intrinsic value. We are receiving only 3. So there is a loss of rupees 1. Similarly, we have the intrinsic value of negative 5. We are receiving 3. So we have a loss of rupees 2. Now this is how uh, we have to solve the tabular way of seller's payoff. Now same thing. Let us try posting it on the graphical way. And let's see how the graph will look when we have a seller's payoff. So first thing on the y-axis we will note down. This consists of your intrinsic value and your profit and loss. Okay, we'll have starting with zero. We have now, now since the profit and loss are in the range of one, two, and three, so we'll have positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive five, positive six. Bottom by negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay. Now, for posting on the x-axis, we need to write all our spot prices. So, we are starting from 96. So, we will note down 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So, we are last is 105. That's our spot price. Now, let us start marking the plot or marking or plotting of all the points of intrinsic value and the profit and loss. So, when the spot price was 96, the intrinsic value was 0. 97 pay also it was 0. 98, 0. 99, 0. 100, 0. At 101, the intrinsic value became negative 1. So we'll mark it here at negative 1. Then we had at 102, negative 2. At 3, we had negative 3. At 4, we had negative 4. And at 5, we had negative 5. Similar, okay, so we will just join those points. So the moment I join it, we get a downward sloping curve. Okay. Now, similarly, we will start plotting the profit and loss. So, when your spot price was 96, the profit that we received was rupees 3. So we mark it. At 97 also, it was 3. 98, 3. 99, 3. And 100, 3. Now, at 101, the profit reduced to rupees 2. At 102, it became 1. At 103, it became 0. At 104, it went to the negative quadrant as negative 1. And at 105, it became negative 2. 
So again, this is also similar to a downward sloping. So we'll just join it with the help of a ruler. Okay. So we can show it here that key. this is nothing but your intrinsic value and this was your profit and loss curve. Okay. So this is basically how we have to solve the sum. Okay. When we have call options, sellers payoff given and they ask us to solve it in both the ways, tabular method as well as graphical method. So this is one of the two examples that we have solved. Okay, now we'll see and we'll take up another example to understand the same concept of sellers payoff under call option. Okay, now here is the second example to understand call option sellers payoff problem sum. We'll read the question once. Jay takes a short position on a call option of XYZ Limited at an exercise price of Rs. 790 with a premium of Rs. 50. Calculate the profit or loss on the option position for J if the spot price on expiry is as follows. Then they are given us various spot price ranging from 750 to 830. They have also said also draw the payoff diagram for the same. Now let us see how to solve this sum both tabular way as well as graphical way. Okay, so first thing we'll note down the heading it will be call option. Sellers payoff. Okay, first column will have the call, uh, the heading exercise price. Second will be spot price. Then we have the intrinsic value. Then we'll have call premium received. And lastly, our profit and loss. Again, the exercise price given in the question is 790. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 options. So, we write 790 under exercise price for 9 options. So, that's the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. 8 and 9 okay now the spot price which are given to us range from 750 760 770 780 790 800 810 820 and 830 okay now in order to get the intrinsic value, as we discussed earlier, under call option, the point where excess price and spot price are equal, the intrinsic value will remain zero. Thereafter, under seller's payoff, there will be a negative difference between the excess price and spot price. So 790 and 800, so there's a negative difference of 10 negative difference of 20, negative difference of 30 and negative difference of 40. Now the call premium receipt since we are selling the premium will be received. It is given as rupees 50. So we write 50 in under all cases. It will remain positive since we are going to sell it off. Now the profit and loss okay, is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the call premium receipt. When the value is 0, we are receiving 50, so there's a profit of 50. Okay, so it will be 50 up to the point where your spot and exercise is the same. Thereafter, negative 10 and 50, the difference is positive 40. Negative 20, 50 is, neg uh, is positive 30. Then we have negative 30 and 50, so positive 20. Negative 40 and 50 is negative, I mean the positive 10. Okay. So now if you look at the previous sum and the sum, none of them have gone into losses, but the profit has gradually fallen down. Okay. So it started off with 50 rupees profit and fallen down to 10 rupees, but it's not gone to the negative quadrant. Okay. So now let us try to plot this graphically. Okay. 
again we we'll have zero on our in the origin now since the profits are in the gap of 10 so we we'll do that as 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 similarly we we'll have negative 10 negative 20 Negative thirty, negative forty, negative fifty. Okay, this is nothing but a intrinsic value and profit and loss values. Okay, now spot prices are given as seven hundred and fifty onwards. So we write seven fifty, seven sixty, seven seventy, seven eighty, seven ninety, eight hundred. Eight hundred and ten, eight hundred and twenty, eight hundred and thirty, eight hundred and forty. Okay. Now let us start plotting them one by one. We need to plot the intrinsic value as well as the profit. First, we'll plot the intrinsic value. When the spot was seven fifty, your intrinsic was zero. At seven sixty, it was zero. Seven seventy zero, seven eighty zero, and seven ninety zero. Thereafter, at eight hundred, it became negative ten. Thereafter, it became negative twenty, negative thirty, negative forty, and lastly negative fifty. Okay, you join it. We'll come to know that there is a downward sloping curve for the intrinsic value. Okay, and we'll note it down as this is the IV curve. Now, let us start plotting the profit and loss. At the spot price of seven fifty, the profit was fifty. At seven sixty, it was fifty. Seven seventy, it was fifty. Seven eighty, it was fifty. Seven ninety, it was fifty. Thereafter, it started falling. It became forty. Then it became thirty. It became twenty. It became ten. Okay, but it never went into the negative quadrant, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just join it apart, and the moment you join it, we will be having our profit and loss curve. Okay, so this is how we need to solve the sum which is based on call option, where we have the sellers pay off. We have already solved sum based on buyers pay off under call option. Those who haven't viewed that video, see that you'll even go through that. Okay, so with that, we will conclude that our call option under sellers pay off problem sums have been done. Okay, I hope everyone understood it. Stay tuned for more videos, which will be now based on put option. We have already completed the call option ones. Now we will be starting off with the in the next video we'll be starting off with put option, where again we'll be having buyers pay off and sellers pay off. So with that, we end this video. Thank you.